Okay, here are the items we've got in our package for Clue 6. We've got our color card that we got in month one, and we've got all of our fabric. So we're just gonna take a few minutes to organize our fabric laid out so I know what we're dealing with. Okay, so I like to take just a couple of minutes to organize myself. I've got my alphabetties, and I am going to lay my fabric out and label it so that I can just whip through the instructions. So I have two fabrics of A, which is this color. Bring this into frame. So I have two A's, which is this. So I know I'm gonna set this up here like that. And I'm gonna take the other set of A and put it up there too. And they're saying that the small triangles they wanna call A1. So we'll put A1. And then the large triangles they want to call a three so i'm going to look for number three which i've got here and then i've got only one d fabric which is a triangle that looks like this so i'm just gonna set this up here and call it d gotta find a d there we go so that's my d fabric I've got two E4s, which is the only E fabric we have. It's the only square, so that's it. And then I've got 12 F triangles. So we're just going to put an F on those triangles. And I've got four F rectangles. So now I've taken all of my fabric and coded it based on what my color code is and in instances where I have multiple triangles, I did label it one or three, but the other ones like fabric F where the cuts are very obviously different, I didn't bother with the numbers. I know the F1 is the triangle, especially in the diagrams for the instructions, they'll show you. Okay, let's take a look at our instructions and see what we're gonna do. So it looks like we're gonna make two blocks for clue six. And they're a little intricate. There's going to be a pinwheel on one side and some other stuff going on the other side. So we'll just follow these along. Step one says to make eight half square triangles with A1, which would be these, and F. So I'm going to count out eight of these. And then for my little triangles in the F fabric, okay, I've got a couple of these left, so I'm going to put them back up here and put my F marker on them so I know what they are. I'm going to take these over to the machine, take a seam, press towards F which is the darker side, and I'll be right back. Okay, all of our units are done, and now our next step is to take these and turn half of them this way. So we want one, two, three, and four, and then the other four will be this way. So what we're gonna do is assemble a seam right here so that we have the start of what looks like another pinwheel. Step two is completed. We have the top part of a pinwheel. And guess what we're going to do? You got that right. We're going to take these and complete the pinwheel. So this is step three. We should end up with two of those at the same time. And it does say that this time around, you should press this seam open. My two pinwheels are now finished. And now it wants us to take D. We'll need four of these and I've only got four here and we're going to lay it out so that the pinwheel a1 f1 f1 like this is here and we're going to turn this into what will eventually be used I'm sure as a half square triangle so we're gonna set this up so that the long side of the triangle goes on either side of that And we're going to, wants us to sew here first and press towards here. 
and then sew here and press that way. So let's go do that. Okay, our fourth step in this clue is done. We've got this beautiful unit. <clears throat> now it wants us to set this aside and we're gonna work on the other half. So essentially what we're gonna, it looks like we're gonna make this month are two half square triangle blocks. And this is gonna be the bottom right of the block. And now we're gonna work on the top half. And so it's saying to take your A3, which is here, and your F rectangle, and you're going to make, oh, not all of your Fs, just two of them. So I'll put two of them back over there. Uh, you're going to take this and these and assemble them this way. The first step of our upper triangle is complete. Now it wants us to take two of these smaller F triangles and assemble them down here. Now we've got our triangle for this side getting a little bit bigger. Now it wants us to take our E squares, which there's only two of, and that's what we need, and our last two and assemble these pieces like this. So we're gonna take a seam, take a seam, and it wants us to press this way and this way. So again, we're going to press those seams out. We have probably two more steps. Okay, so now it wants us to take this and assemble them this way. So we're going to go make that be attached. Okay, now we've got these done, and the last step is to take both of these triangles and assemble them to the other triangle that we made, and we'll have our half square triangle blocks for this month. Okay guys, these are our two items for clue number six for size large of the Stratford Puzzle Mystery Quilt designed by Sheila Christensen for Cotton Cuts. If you're interested in getting in on the fun of the puzzle mystery quilts, you can do so over at cottoncuts.com. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below, hit that like button, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.